company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and our, we make products like Supreme Ambulant Rejection Screen Paint, and also to the new blue that's going to be coming out soon. All right, so in this demonstration, we are going to be painting a screen directly onto our wall. Usually when I do screens, I'm doing them on fixed frame projection screens, such like the screen over there. But we're going to do a fast demonstration of me painting this right onto the wall. Now, I got something planned for this section right here. I'm actually turning this into a large power grid or circuit board. And this used to be, have a screen here, but I decided to paint over it and do it again for this demonstration right here. Now, um, I've said this many times in a lot of my demonstrations. Uh, please do not use foam rollers. We only use uh, nap rollers only. And for those of you who missed the paint on, you can always go back and rewind. All right, so I'm going to tidy up just a little bit to get ready. And get the projector set up over here. We got everything good to go. I think everything runs through Chromecast and the back. We're good. Get ready to get this taken care of. That's a fresh connect line, right? That's a fresh, that's a fresh connect line. We got another one right there. That's a fresh connect line. Ooh, yeah, we can start from there. I don't know how you get connected to that one. I only want to connect to that one. Here. Okay. We got one connected from here. So if we go from here, we can go from here, detach from this one, go back up, cross from this one, yeah, and come back around and come back around. Okay, cool. Alright, that would be the way to run it right through the window. Alright, so what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to figure out exactly when we put this next set of LED lights through. And the way these LED lights are designed, if you daisy chain three of them together, they four together, they will dull out on you. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna run the next set of LED lights through. So I got an adapter right there. I might run them through here, cross them through here. And then bring them back up around here and then do that window section right here so I can get ready for the new curtains that are coming here. I can't wait to black this out because every time I turn these things on, I got a bunch of people across the street staring at the light display that I have going off in my house. So that's why I'm trying to figure out exactly what I need to start from there. Because sooner or later, when July gets here, I found that the Fable 2. For the Xbox system that's going to be coming out, for the Xbox series is going to be coming out. And I probably plan to buy my systems probably around summertime when I pick up both of my systems. I would like to have this section because this one already ready. I think by the time, and, it's, and, I, and I got a funny, strange feeling that by the time that all settles in, my case would probably settle and I would probably be moved out of here. Yeah, I can do it all over again. Alright, so. Now keep in mind, any comments that Crow Boys may make, I don't care. I've already proved myself today. I am more than happy to take you today. No competition. No competition at all I've seen yet. So I don't even care. I'm good. I have people already calling me today. Customers will be calling me today saying I don't even know why they even bother challenging you. They do, they do. They always do.
people spend so much time hating my technology, they need to worry about theirs and stop worrying about mine. That's what they need to do. Don't worry about what I'm doing over here. Don't worry about what I'm working on. What you need to do is worry about what you need to worry about. Your business. That's what I'm talking about. You ever seen Partake's channel? There's nothing but my stuff on it. That's all he talks about is me, 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 me. Boy, you're obsessed with me, aren't you, buddy? You got to learn. People got to learn that. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing. You worry about what you need to do to get ahead. That's the problem. That's why you can't get anywhere. You're too busy worrying about me. I am so far ahead of you when it comes to this kind of stuff. It's not even funny. You haven't even seen this stuff. It's funny because they only see what we're working on. You don't even know half the stuff that you never see on camera. Never see on camera. If I never showed you a blue, you wouldn't even know a blue screen even existed. So think about that one. On the stuff, don't worry about the stuff you're seeing. Worry about the stuff you don't see. All right. I think I'm gonna map out how I'm gonna put my lights in. I'm gonna do the paint on. Trust me, I'm gonna get it done. This is fast. This is easy. This is gonna be like that. It's easy to do walls. Walls are easier to do because it's there. I don't have to build it. I don't have to construct it or put it together. If I had the opportunity, I would have loved to paint the 235.1 on the wall. Hey, I would have loved to paint that on the wall, but I couldn't because there's a window sitting behind that screen. So, like I said, whoever had the house is obsessed with windows. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do just gonna all I need to do is just paint something there. So I can basically put my interface up. That's all I'm doing, right? So we're just going to do it. Dot, 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 done. All right, so let's start this. Let's just go. I got other things to do today. All right, we're going to use this as my paint pan right here, a piece of styrofoam. That's all we need to use. And, <coughs> and we have a screen paint right here, which is a 12. We're going to use right now. Up a little. It's interesting because you get to watch the finished product. That's the finished product right there. There's a black tub right there in a fully lit environment. So you get a chance to watch me paint it on the wall. And then we got another one right over there. All right. All right. <laughs> I think it's interesting if we turn our projector on. We do this while the projector is on. I like doing those. Let's fire up the projector real quick. start off we're just showing the, the video I think I did the video while I'm painting it in so that way you can see it okay we're gonna go okay now as I said before that I have people asking so many times about rollers 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 any kind of nine inch roller all you need is a nine inch roller sometimes I wash my rollers over and over and over again I think I might have a little bit in here I'm just taking what's off my brush, off a roller. I didn't even put any on the paint. This is this one just taking what's left over on the roller that was just saturated in my roller. Ah, oh, there we go.
There you go. And if I know we're just painting this in every direction. I'm not really going up and down in a robot formation. No, it's no priming involved. You just paint over the surface, that's it. It's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Don't make it more than what it has to be. I get all my spots done nicely. So I like to paint because it relaxes me, especially on the wall. I miss painting on walls. You know, I really do. There you go. Now mind you, it's still wet, so as it dries, it gets brighter and brighter. We've been through the whole formality before, but like I said, easy to do if you want to paint on the wall. That's how fast it takes me to paint when it's on the wall. And once it's dry, if I can find my freaking controller, once it dries, it looks like that. That's a 135 inch of that technology on that wall on a screen right there. We'll get our fan, bring it up here, let it dry, and we're done. That's it.
There you go, all done. Just painted the screen that fast, that quick on my wall. Let's see how dark the image comes up. See, that's why I tell people, it's always best to just mind your own business. Don't try to challenge my technology. I painted the screen in no time at all. You watch me paint it right onto the surface, right over top when the script jacket was on. See how bright my image is? Yeah, you can go and give away your free paint. I've seen it, it's dirty, very dirty. My technology is clean and beautiful, look at it. And this is on a 720p projector we're using. This is a 1080p projector we're using. All right, I'm gonna go over here and set up my demonstration for the screen right here. Look at his skin tones. Now my projector has a little purplish right there on the lens. That comes from dust getting in next to the, um, behind the lens of the projector. I still have to take mine and make this my projector. I haven't got around to doing it, but that's just the projector doing that. Let's go over here, pull me up another demonstration.
free black paint. Knock yourself out with that one. See, the problem is that I explain to people. When it comes to people just developing any form of trying to make a black screen paint, they don't do any of the testing we do. You have to do those tests, are very important. You just can't make a paint and say, hey, it's black. It's going to be to produce the same thing. That's not good. It has to go with a lot of testing. One of the things a black paint has to be able to do is not contrast. It has to pull a white level. So automatically you're going to pull a, a colorful, I mean, um, a, a contrast level. It has to pull a white level. Unless you don't see those demonstrations being done properly, like we do our demonstrations, there's no point. See that purple area right there? That comes from dust behind your projection screen. Not behind your projection screen, behind your, um, your lens. So apparently, me not cleaning my filters out, which I should have did my filters on time when the warning light came on, didn't do it. I just had a bit of a dust cloud that formed in the back of my, um, my lens, and now I have to take my projector part to clean it. So that's where that comes from. You ever get that on? You ever buy a projector and you get that shadow across it? That's what it's from. You gotta take apart the projector, you gotta pull the lens out, you gotta clean it. And as you can see, look at the white levels on it. Hmm. Yeah, that purple, I think it's going to Okay, I got it. dust behind the back lens of your projector, especially these projectors are L LCD. You get any kind of um, you get any kind of dust behind the variable and it will do that. That's a reaction will come up. We're going to swap these projectors out. I got to get this one fixed and take it apart. You understand? Opening up a Chrissy is not a fun job. That's a freaking hard projector to go inside of, man. It's parts inside of parts. Whew, I had a time pulling out the lens on the other one. So. There you go. Watch that while I pull the other one off. The other one down. That one for that one. Popping the other Chrissy on.
Ja. And this is the projector I got set at minus 24 brightness. This is minus 24 brightness. Bring my brightness up a little more because I'm at minus. I'm way below the factory settings on this projector. Probably around 10. I'll keep it at 10. So I'm gonna keep my brightness on my projector at only 10. I was at minus 24 when I did that demonstration yesterday. I'm gonna keep it at 10. That's it. So that's what I'm saying. When you when you develop a black screen paint, one of the most important things when you develop black technology is the white levels. That's all that's important because it's automatically going to generate a high contrast from the door. That's going to happen. So when somebody says they're giving you out free paint, I guarantee you it's trash. They haven't did all the tests, they haven't done any demonstrations. First thing people are going to ask is how far is my projector going to sit back? My screen's still wet. Um, how far can the screen projector going to be sit back? You got to show all those demonstrations of your projector having that capability to pass all those tests. I don't like this one because they put the crown of Jesus there. Um, it's just a long story. I just don't like this particular demonstration right here. I'm going to cancel this out. I'm going to go through anyway. I hate this one. I like disrespect to my Lord. It shows the model with a crown of thorns on her head. I don't think people should do that. Only one person had the right to do that. That was Christ. When people do that, it's a disrespect to God. But you have to be, white levels are very, very important. And now you saw that demonstration, that screen was so dark and so dirty. And that's because it had no ability to pull white level. It's supposed to look beautiful on your wall. Perfect, like a TV. That's what you want. And one of the things our black screens can do that people fail to understand. They got y'all guys, you guys are fantastic. But the, the, the haters fail to understand that black screens can blend into gray screens. You watch me take my gray screen and lean it against my black screen, it'll blend right into it. Because the white levels on that screen has a very good white level on that screen. But you just can't make black paint without any testing. You have to do the tests. It's like you're going out and buying bricks and say, okay, how many tests have they done on this? Now they just made these today. Would you put those on your card? No, you wouldn't. You want to see test results. That's what you want to see. And that's why we do a lot of testing. We do the projector, we throw them back 20 feet, we bring them on 800, 900 lumens. How far can that projector travel by distance on that many of the lumens? We take them outside to show you those you're going to be using the projector outside, how low lumens you can use. You have to do all these tests. How do they stack up against high performance projection screens? How much ambient light can they take in? All this stuff is important. So that's why we do all these tests and show you them. And then at the final test, the screen has to be to pull that image outside on that 1,000 lumen projector. That comes from people doing their job halfway. And from the demonstrations I've already seen on his channel, are you kidding me? Your environment is that dark? You have the shades pulled down. That environment is pitch black dark. I'm pulling an image like this in a fully lit environment. So your challenge was a fail, a complete fail. And I painted this frame live, directly right onto the wall.
If these people spent more time concentrating you know, on their own work, they would be in a better stage right now. They really would be. Instead of worrying about what I'm doing. Why are you so worried about what I'm doing? This page is littered with about me. That's obsession on a whole nother level. Need some for a minute. I'm gonna tap this a little bit. You were a bit still wet. screen again. I'm going to dry it right in front of you again. I'm going to roll over top of it again because people think if they put four or five coats on it's going to change the screen. It's not going to change the screen. Screen. I want to bring that video back again. There we go. This is when the screen is wet. Okay, right back over top of it. Now this is the screen when it's wet, and this is how bright it is when they're wet. Sorry about that. Pro boys in here, they come in here to watch. They're always curious. I welcome you, don't worry. As long as you're not a carry, don't you're not an act right. When you come in here carrying on and acting up, I gotta bang you. If you come in here and you act right, you ask the base as you want. If you wanna act up, you gotta go. So Mr. Partey and Jamie, lesson learned today. Mind your own business, stay in your own lane. Because the last thing he wants me for do is do a review against him. I do a review against him, he's not going to like it. He'll go with the same thing Jamie just went through. Mind your own business. I couldn't care less what you are doing in your backyard as long as you mind your business.
Your old man in his house watching my videos, carrying on. Last time your name will ever be mentioned ever again. So enjoy it. Yeah, my screen paints dark. Okay. Or all are pretty much because somebody makes a free screen paint mix and gives it away for free. They think that's going to damage my company. You got to be kidding me. You have to be able to perform all my demonstrations in order to call yourself equal to my technology. I painted this screen in, in no time at all, back to back. You watched it dry twice. Look how bright the white levels are on this technology. Now those of you who decide to paint this on a wall, this also too helps you out because I've had so many people ask me about, do I have to prime the surface first? No, you don't. You just roll over and you're done. That's it. That's how you just roll be done. Get yourself some nine, um, nine inch foam roller, not foam, sorry, um, nap rollers and just roll it in. That's it. It's that easy. Roll it over. Be done. It, it, you don't have to hire a painter. You don't have to do all this special stuff. Just roll it in and be done with it. See how fast I did this? Done. Roll this screen faster than it took me to pop the popcorn downstairs. But now we can get a seat at 135 inch. And you can see it on, I don't, I don't know what size this might be. So that's why I said, when you see people out there doing demonstrations against me like that, those are just people that are just mad and angry about what I do. Oh, because I get up in the morning, because I work hard, because I try to bring out a good product for my customers, this is the reason why they hate me. Well, go ahead, hate away, because I'm going to keep doing what I do. I'm just going to sit down and get used to it. I love my job, I love what I do, and I love my customers, and I'm going to keep on doing what I do. demonstration claim my backing up myself. I wish I had a wall in a house to paint the screen on. I really do. I, I love painting on the wall. You know how cool it is to know you got a screen painted on your wall. I don't have any place to paint a wall screen on the wall. Mind you, my brightness now, my projector is at 10. That's it. Right, you can turn that off. We're done. It's already dry already.
Push a little closer to the screen if you want. I wish I had a microphone so I can drop it about right now. It just bugs me, it does. If you've got nothing better to do with your time, good gracious, all that negative energy, do something productive with it. Look at this. How beautiful that flower looks on that black screen. This is what my customers get. Of course they're going to get away for free. It's untested. Doesn't work. From what I've seen on the demonstration, it's very dirty. I'm gonna get my charger up here. I'll be back. I need to grab a charger. I'm going downstairs to get a chance to get this mess clean up in here real quick. Take all the stuff downstairs. We're done here. That's how fast it takes to paint the screen. You ain't gonna paint it in no time at all. Tell you one thing, for a black screen, it pulls up incredible white levels. So when people rush a product like that and just bring it up for the sake of just bringing it out and then try to give it to you for free, that thing would have messed your screen up. It would have messed your screen up. Then you have to contact me and you have to repaint over it again. And do it right the first time. That's what I always say. Get it done the right time for the first time. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. We don't have time to be messing up this stuff.
We don't call this a mix. I never call my screen paint a mix. It's called a formula. Thank you. difference between somebody doing a job professionally and somebody doing it as a hobby. You don't take the time to put the work in. You don't take the time to put the work in. You can't get results like that. It comes from hard work. A lot of prayer. See that? Look at that. Look how beautiful that image is coming up. I got two screens firing off back to back at the same time. One at 135 inches was done with a roller and another one was just painted to the wall. Twice. To show you how fast it takes the screen to dry. Now, tomorrow morning, if Crow wants to keep playing games, I'll stick your personal mix against the screen and I'll basically outperform your screen in color and I'll outperform your screen in contrast if you want to play that game. It's just you mind your business, stay in your own backyard. This is how all this got started from him trying to go toe to toe with a 12. This is how it started. You want to go over to Twitter and play with a 12? Okay. I want you not to go near it. Not the kind of screen you want to play around with. Not freaking house paint. So it's going to react different. I love this commercial. He basically turns on the neon lights. Oh, they cut it short. Problem with certain people who try to make free black paint, they don't get they don't get it. They don't understand the science behind it. There's a science behind developing black technology. You ain't throwing a whole bunch of stuff together to make a product. There's a science behind it. You have to get the screen to be able to perform a white level, and it has to be a good white level. It has to be multiple shades of white levels. This is why the colors are beautiful and bright, and then you have to add the contrast to darken it to make the colors pop. Can't be too much. And it can't be, if you have too many white levels, the screen fades. And if you have too much contrast, the image comes up dirty. And this takes years to do. I've been working with black technology for over 10 years. You can go back to my old demonstrations. See how the contrast makes the image pull out and then the colors just pop at the same time? This is what you want. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Imagine coming into your house and that's painted on your wall. My projector behind me, $230 on eBay. Used. Outdated old projector. I gotta do, I like to do the white demonstrations, the yeah, white level demonstrations. There's no way in the world this screen can be pulling off the levels that it's pulling off when it comes to white levels, if it couldn't read white levels. And it also shows the difference between a screen that's raw, a screen that's coated and not coated. Look at the white levels. Look how dark that screen is.
See the angle gain on that screen? I had a buddy of mine tell me that I was a bit of a perfectionist when it came to my work, and I am. It has to perform a certain level. I should be able to see that screen right on an angle, a 190 degree angle. I should be able to pick that up with no problem. I'm not being just I'm not being arrogant when I say you're not on my level, you're just not on my level. It's all to it. Put your little close. I can bring you up close so y'all can see the screen better. Oh man, I'm telling you, man, I'm caught between a rock and a hard place here. I mean, I got the money to go pick up these new next gen console systems, but you can't get them. Because nobody has them. Okay, so yeah, I'm scared about having the bugs because I want my system to brick on me. And then they got that 2077 just came out. I want that game so bad. But they're saying on the old gen consoles, it doesn't play well. And on PC, it has little bugs here and there. So I'm like, so what the freak? I'm like, seriously. I don't want to take a gamble on that. I'm going to download it on my PC. And take a chance on that. Because I don't want to buy this thing and get the next gen console, say if I happen to get one, and it, and it bricks on me. I'm going to be freaking ticked off if that happens. I still don't understand why they gave you 825. Really? 825? That's under a terabyte. What are you going to do with that? That game, I mean, Cold War was what? 130 gigs, 100, 125 or something gigs? Are you kidding me? What do you think Grand Theft Auto is going to be when it comes out? But you can use external hard drives. I guarantee you they're going to cash in on that. They're going to cash in on the external hard drives. Unless they allow you to use your own, which I pray they do, so I can basically design my own system, my own hard drive system. But they're going to make it so that you got to buy their only hard drives. Man, you know they're going to charge your arm and leg for those bad boys. Now that shows the screen's contrast capability. And even if you have, the, like I said, the ability to pull the contrast, you still have to have a high white level. It's like having an OLED on your wall, isn't it? So let me see, we're having a sale right now. If you had paid $148, got to paint up to a 150 inch screen. The projector behind me is around $230. So you're talking about, I mean, 130, but almost about, about $370, $380. That's what it would have cost you to have a setup like that at 150 inches. Way cheaper than a projector. Let's get some more skin tones. See, I know the two work hand in hand. Both of them, they work hand in hand together. I know they do. 
So one basically says he's going to develop and make a dirty screen paint or some ugly screen paint. And the other one's going to convince you that this is how all black screen paints react. And that's really sad when you put that much effort into something that pretty much ends up to be a major fail. And then I come along and go, no, that's not true. This is how not all black screen paints are the same. That's like saying all cars are the same or all food tastes the same. That's pretty much what they're trying to basically embed, and that's sad. I wouldn't trust either one of them. Man, it's kind of, I'm building an interface around this. This is going to be an interface for my um, for my giant generator in here. Now I kind of hate to do it because now the screen looks so good. I want to watch something off of it. But I got enough screens in the house. Now, as it says in the description for the 12, it says that the white levels are going to be a tad low, but nothing that's going to disrupt your picture quality. And as you can see, there's nothing here to disrupt your picture quality. I just don't get it. You're watching me do a live demonstration. You're watching me paint the screen for you all. And yet they still continue to do demonstrations saying, no, this is how it really looks. I'm the one who designed it. I'm doing a live demonstration. What, I got magical powers now? Okay. Look at the black levels on her jacket. And look at the white right there. Look at the skin tone. Look how all that pops and comes out. Look how blue the water is on the pool, the white chairs in the back, her flesh tone against her white bathing suit. All right, so in the end, it just shows you how far some people will go out of jealousy for somebody else to try to destroy them the best way they possibly can. It's sad, it just blows up in their face. That's what it does. At the end of the day, because I'm going to come on here and show you my demonstrations, I'm going to show you what I do best, and at the end of the day, it blows up in their face. Makes them look bad. While you guys are watching that, I'm going to figure out exactly where I'm going to put these new LED lights at. And I do thank you for the time for coming in and watching the demonstration. Thank you for taking time out of your commercial corner. Oh, really? Okay, cool. The slice of dust right is beautiful. That makes you, we got, ooh, flowers doing Let's get some blooming flowers in here. So we got them here. <laughs> Those are bunny slippers. I might get me a pair of them some bunny slippers. Now, we'll do another demonstration when I get up in the morning so we can have some actual more ambient light in the environment also too. And we'll take this screen and put it against other screens.
I gotta do a pre-recorded version. I hope this version looks pretty good because I'm telling you, you have no idea how beautiful these screens look. I see this every day. This is what I see every day when I get up in the morning. This is why I don't own TVs. How are we doing photos? I don't want to do photos. This one will be... Yeah, I don't want to do photos. I'm going to do actual live video. We thins. I used to eat those religiously. I can't stand them things now. I think I eat too many of them. I can't hate freaking wheat thins now. Four cases, a 1080p projector. That's it. Two hundred thirty dollars. That's what I paid for my projector. Calibrating. I don't know what sounds. I'm gonna just run for you guys. I'm gonna go right turn yet. Now when blue launches, I will warn you again. Mind your own business. Don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that screen. But eventually, they'll run their mouths and they'll end up going, oh, well, never mind. We already know what's gonna happen with that. Just, I'm not even gonna bother going down that road. No point saying anything. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're, 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 they're glutton for punishment, that's all. Now the only way you would probably have to sand your walls down, unless you got stucco or something rough on your wall, like if you close your eyes and you run your fingers and your fingers are bumping down your wall, then I would suggest, yeah, sanding. But other than that, if you just got a drywall downstairs, just do, 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 roll over top of it, you're done with it. It'll prime and none of that need it. So let's just run. I'll get my lights set up over here for you guys. Okay? All right. Okay, Thank you all for coming in. Thank you so much.
share for that one. I'm not going to fall for that. Got a commercial there? You can do it. You can do it. That's got to play through.
Andrew. So, while you were all watching the video, I was running some more lead lights through. So let's see how these fire off. All right, get a chance to test that out. And let me get the, uh, what I'm gonna be doing with that screen over there. Computer interface. Computer interface screen table. Screensaver circuit board. All right, let's test this out. So this is what this is supposed to be designed for, like an interface for my power supply system that I'm building here. That's why I need that there. So let's get this fired up and let's see what we got so far. It's a bit of a mess in here, but eh, we'll get around this mess. And this right here, I want to show you. This right here is a UV paint. It's used for basically making things glow in the dark. This stuff is pretty cool. So this is like a solution, very strong solution that you add it to stuff and it makes it glow. So what I want to do is my frames around my proje projection screens, I want them to glow like a stone white. So that's what we're doing with this stuff. All right, so let's get popping. Let's get cracking, Jackson. Let me see, which one is this one plugged into? The main one? She can trigger it off to leaks. Oh man, we got a foodie. We got a changer. All right, so how do we got to change some of these? This is tricky, all right? This is what we got to do. All right, so we got to disconnect these. We got to disconnect these. So the only ones we need are these. We gotta change these out. So we gotta, we gotta do it with the remote control. Can't touch any of the rest of because we're gonna trigger off. I gotta find the remote controls for these. Should have more here. Let's see, let's go with these colors. What color do we want to change it over to? 
Let's see, let's we need to do that effect. So we need to do that certain effect. There we go. We gotta slow that down. That's gonna be much slower. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. There we go. Now let's change it over to the color we want. That's a blue. We have the first time we had the first time. But they're supposed to stack up. There we go. Like a grid, it's supposed to stack up. Now, now we got these changed over. We're good on that. And it's gonna get too bright. I think it's pretty good, right? Make sure it's gonna secure it down. Make sure it's locked down. Alright, now we can go in and put the other ones. Damage red line in there because that's the damage line. So the one that comes up red is the damage circuit. Building kind of a theme here. ideas on how to build a reactor it's going to involve three fans so it's going to be pretty cool how I'm going to do it. I have to take them apart and this metal is fancy to pull them apart but you'll see when I get done with it how cool it's going to look so it's actually going to have moving pieces in it balls like shooting back and forth. I'm gonna have that in there. I'm gonna keep it all this here. So I still have another additional hundred more feet to run. Probably more than that. What is getting there? Alright, so let's see, we got these plugged in. These are all plugged in. Alright, okay. guys. Let's turn the outdoor light. I'm not going to use this anymore. Put these in. Alrighty. And these are all plugged in. I think we got them all. Let's get our door. I'm not missing anything. Let's pull it up. We got the ceiling slid up. Yeah, I think we got everything. Thank you, go. I'm gonna shut her down. Oh, it's getting there. So these are the new ones I just added in. Right there. Crossing over. Coming back up. Running through here, here, and here. And there's the interface I'm gonna be building there. That's the power supply the generator. I'm gonna build there. And then those are the other ones I attach with the, using the, my scaffold system, hanging like in a bridge that makes the lights hang down. And over here, we still have our floor. That's the damage circuit right there. The red circuit is the damage circuit. It's pushing through. Step on a screw. And the doors I did with a little glow in the dark. Give it a kind of a kind of fake kind of cartoony look to it. Like everything's being charged in the room. And then we have some little glow coming across here. 
I'm kind of curious. This stuff they gave me, right? They said that it activates with black light, right? So do I have to have black lights to run this, or can I just run this without black lights? So, ooh, man, this stuff is strong. It's strong, man, it's strong, but it's non-toxic, so I have to be real careful about things that I get. I have to make sure they're non-toxic, because I don't want to have any problems later on. So let's pour some of this out and see how this stuff reacts. I'm a little curious. It's white. I that much. It's a white paste, but see what we get. Let's pour some of this on here. All right. If I got my money's worth. I do want to have to spend $200 for some Hollywood paint. So I don't see any glow coming off of that, do you? Let me see something like that. It said black light, so... I don't want to paint this on my frame and have it not work. I don't know. It said black light. Keep in mind, it just say black lights. So I'm not using black lights in here. But the stuff I have in here... It's not really glowing the way it's supposed to glow. The stuff I have in here, basically, this is the regular paint that you buy. This stuff glows on anything. I mean, anything you put this on. This was like six bucks. This was like about 15 or 16 bucks. All right, then. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to basically buy a bunch of these right here. They come in little containers like this. I need a bigger container. That's what I need, a bigger container. I need to go to a hobby shop. Because I want to paint the whole frame out. That's what I want to do. They do make this glow in the dark paint. It's, it's kind of like a, a Hollywood kind of paint. This stuff is really, really, really good. And you don't need a black light to trigger this stuff off. I'm just going to spend the $40 for the court and just get it over here and just paint the, uh, the trim. Um, that didn't work out too well. So I guess maybe it's for black lights. We'll buy some black lights and see how it reacts. That's what I'm going to do. Buy some black lights and see how it reacts. If it reacts really good to the black lights... What I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the fans, the inside, all of them, with that coating right there. And I'll run some black LED lights in there and with the fans against them. So that way they can actually give that kind of that all kind of glow. But other than that, I'm happy with the round. It's $6, so I'm not, that's not too bad. But then I'm happy with the new ones that I put in. And that's the interface. This is what I'm painting this for, the interface right here. Boy, this is starting to look kind of crazy, isn't it? I'm not even done yet. I still have more to run through, and I'm not even done yet. This is crazy. Boy, thank God if I don't have basically problems with Epsilon. Let me see this and stuff. I'll be messed up about right now. But any, anybody who does have that problem, and I, I'm going to start warning people ahead of time before I come in here because I don't want anybody having any problems at all. This room is pretty, pretty crazy. And my neighbors, every time I put new lights in here, the lights start coming on the cars. They're like, what is he doing? Don't worry about it. So I got it curving around the wall. Dun, dun, dun. It's pretty easy to stick this stuff. And there's the ceiling, yeah. I'm doing a ceiling next. I'm actually doing the ceiling. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. Just got more work to go. Walking through here is like playing hopscotch. You gotta be careful not to step on something. I think I should just tape things down. If I tape it down, I have to worry about scuffing anything. That's what I worry about. Those right there, those connectors. I should have those taped down. All right, so now we go through the system of shutting them off. I'll put you guys over here. And we'll put something else on for you to watch. just want to see how that is going to... Um, oh, this would make a nice... This would make a nice interface. Not a good one, though. The blue is better. All right, I'll put that in for you guys as I power this place down.
Sorry about that. Literally forgot. You guys were there. Come on, where are you on the camera? I'm trying to figure out where the switches are at. Yep. 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 So we're gonna, we got the sale that's gonna start tomorrow, get the free blackout cloth. Um, and also too, we're going to have, I'm gonna check something real quick because I think we might have been able to process an order for England. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna check on that real quick. Maybe they, see, if, see if we can test the shopping cart a bit here for overseas to see if some of these uh, these bans might have been lifted. So let's find out, I'm gonna find out tomorrow. Um, also, too, um, we're going to start taking pre-orders for the blue, mm, probably around, I would say, not the 13th, probably like the 14 or 15. We're going to start taking, we're going to open up the shopping cart for pre-orders for the blue. Now, as I said before, um, when we do launch the blue, the blue is officially going to launch our first week in February. That means the only orders that we will be processing will be pre-orders only. They're the only ones that will go out. Um, we will have a certain amount for the shopping cart for customers. Also, too, a certain amount for companies that are going to be buying the blue, too, also. Um, let's see what else is going to add with that. That's pretty much more, more like an with right there. But we're just going to do pre-orders only. Once we have enough stock and inventory, um, the next month we'll be able to cater to everybody with no problem whatsoever. And I'm still going to see if I can still try to get some information uh, from PayPal to see if we can start because I like to see the blue get shipped overseas very very much very very much I went overseas so um, Let's see what we can do and keep in mind when we ship overseas. It is always free. We never charge for shipping overseas All right um, With that being said, thank you so much for coming in and watching the demonstration I really appreciate it and I just want to show you how easy it is number one for our customers to be able to paint it on their walls you know, but also to to prove that you know the naysayers out there who constantly want to spread hate about my work and what I do, it just shows them that they're just completely wrong. And at the end of the day, they are what they are. All right, people, I'm gonna get downstairs and get something to eat. Thank you all for your time, and I gotta go. And God bless.